Hello, this is SWS113 for a level guide, and this is part 3 of the Hophack HD PVR setup tutorial for PS3. Um, basically, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit videos recorded using the HDPR to make them better quality and suitable for YouTube. Okay, um, let's just open, open Vegas. Okay, when you open Sony Vegas for the first time, this is what you're going to see. Um, basically, pause the video now and copy all of these settings and make sure yours are all the same as what I have here. Um, okay. Okay, um, I have imported a clip that I just found on my hard drive, just a random clip. And um, basically, first thing you want to do when you import a cl new clip to Sony Vegas is click this button here, event pan slash crop, um, or you can just right click and go to video event pan crop. And what this option allows you to do is to get rid of the black bars on the video, um, like so. And once you've done that, you can make a preset, so every time you go on and put a new video in from the Hotpack HD BVR, you won't have to get rid of the black lines. There'll be a preset, and you'll just have to click on that preset and then just um, it'll be done for you, okay? So let's just name this preset 1. Then click this button here, the little floppy disk logo. Just click that and then saved. Um, second thing you want to do is <coughs> you want to right click the video, go to properties, and make sure disable resample is checked because if it's not, then your video will have horrible motion blur that will make the video just look horrible and almost unwatchable. So just make sure that is checked, then click OK. Another thing you can do is go to Video Effects and add Color Correctors. This just makes the video look clearer and gets rid of the grey haze over the video you can see now. Let's so just drag Studio RGB to Computer RGB onto the clip. And as you can see it brights up slightly. Just make that clearer without clip on the left hand side and with, with the effect on the right hand side. Um, yeah, that's the difference. Then click on color curves and add reset to none. Then drag this up here. That makes the brights brighter. And drag this down here. And that makes the darks darker. Just contrast, basically. Um, then close that. And as you can see, that's had a major difference on how the clip looks. It's just a lot easier to watch now. Um, Another thing you can do is scroll down, go to Sharpen, then just drag Reset to None on. No need to mess about with anything here because the effect takes. Um, the effect has this effect straight away. Um, no need to mess about. So the next thing you can do is um, you can add a different type of color corrector if you want, just to make it look better. Like um, let's just see. Let's try. Blue highlight, that made it look good. Yeah, I just added a blue tint to the video, which sometimes makes it look better, so... Once that's all added, you're ready to render. Okay, render settings are one of the most important things you can do in Sony Vegas. And to edit these, go to File, Render As, and go to Template, and click Custom. As with the project settings at start, I'm just pause the video now, and copy all of these settings now. Um, I'm going to stay on video for a few seconds, then move on to audio, then project. So just wait here and go to audio. Just make sure this is all the same and project. Make sure the video rendering quality is on the best. Then click OK. Then you're ready to render. Just click save. Enemy has B! Your predator missile is ready. <laughs>